So when you when you look at COVID, for example, and that's the biggest healthcare threat to, to every single person in the world today. When you look at recent statistics, because both of us spend a lot of time, extra time, talking to patients. I give my cell phone number out to people and invite them to call me late in the evening. I've done it 10 times a day to call me after the show. Let me give you the straight information on COVID because right. uh, because when you look at the numbers, they're scary. 99.9% .9 of the people in the intensive care unit today because of COVID are not vaccinated. That number should speak mm -hmm. volumes to you. One out of 450 people Americans are dead because of it. That number yeah. should scream at you. That's a greater death rate than if you were a Vietnam-aged veteran uh, or a Vietnam-aged person like my age. That increases my death rate to a greater degree than if I did four tours of duty in Vietnam. Mm or 10 tours of duty as an active foot soldier in Afghanistan, which I wouldn't want to do one tour of duty, one day of duty, but my risk of dying of COVID unvaccinated is greater than 10 tours of duty in Afghanistan. And there's a lot of social misinformation going on, and there's a lot of information being passed on by people who are not medical experts, some of which are pastors. And that's a big problem, I think, that I'm seeing in my practice. Um, Pastors can inadvertently misguide people because they're teachers. And anybody who t serves a role as a teacher can pass on misinformation. Um, uh, in the Bible, there was leprosy, and that was a disease that we talked about quarantining for. We talked about isolation, and that's really the premise of wearing a mask and not going into social events like football games uh, without being vaccinated or protecting yourself or the people around you with a mask. Um, that's been written about heavily in the Bible, and it can't be discounted. Uh, of all the apostles, there were two that really weren't lay people, right? Which, and one was a physician. Um, and so we can't we can't ignore the advice of physicians. There were no there were no evangelical pastors as apostles. They all became them, but they were not them. They were lay people. The only other person who was a lay person. Uh, who was not a lay person was a tax collector, probably the most educated of the apostles. And he wrote, uh, if you are sick, see a doctor. If you're well, you don't have to. So follow the apostles' advice. See a doctor if you're sick. Follow our advice. There's a reason why 99% of doctors are vaccinated, because we do know something that the average public doesn't. 100% of infectious disease doctors are vaccinated. 100% of immunologists are vaccinated. Um, and it's because we do know something that you may not know. So open your mind, talk to your doctor, whether they're in a volume-based practice like mine or in a personalized practice, we're all willing to spend time with you. There's not a bad physician in this community. Uh, we all want you to live. Remember, get vaccinated. The life you save may not be just your own. It may be the one that you love the most that you may transmit that disease to and be directly responsible for their death. Uh, so please act ethically responsible. Strongly consider the vaccination. There should be on the screen my email address. Uh, it's at the bottom. Uh, I invite the entire viewing audience to email me directly, and I will be happy to respond to you with facts. And the other number is Dr. Michael's office right. number. Correct. And we do meet and greets if you're interested in learning more about us and meeting us, kicking the tires, coming on in and meeting me personally. We do a 30-minute meet and greet. You just have to talk to my office staff, and we'll be happy to do that at 451-7043.